Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a while since I've done a voiceover, and it's been a while since I've actually made a video recently. Even this um, speed paint that I'm doing, or speed drawing that I'm doing right now, has a couple of weeks old, I think, right now. And most of that is due to the fact that I have a new job, and it takes up about 90% of my life now. And any free time that I have is now dedicated to sleeping or trying to find food. So, yeah, I mean, I try and squeeze in drawings every now and then, but it's definitely not as much as I would like and not as much as I uh, was able to accomplish in the past year, unfortunately, but that's just something I'll have to get past. But yeah, um, right now I'm drawing Bram, as we all know, because I love him and I don't really have anything else to live for right now. Um, but yeah, I wanted to try a few different hairstyles on him and um, kind of see what he would look like with different styles of, um, you know, hair, because why not? Um, it's very self-indulgent, but that's what I'm gonna have to do to keep myself afloat nowadays. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought it was interesting to play around with his design and what he would look like if he had a certain style and if he had short hair, long hair, ponytail, braid, and myself, I like his, uh, his ponytail and his braid a lot. And I like his um, medium hair as well, but you know his signature hair that I have him in the uh, have for him in the comic is like you know his um, long bob length hair with the bangs, and you know I love that hairstyle on him. I think it makes him cute and whatever. But I just wanted to play around with him a little bit more. But um, he's gonna have his current hairstyle, the the regular one, um, for a little bit longer in the comic. But maybe eventually I'll, I'll switch it up and, you know, as time progresses he'll have longer or shorter hair. But, you know, we'll leave that to the future in all of its wonderful mysteriousness. And I also wanted to draw him in an outfit. Um, the one he'll be wearing after his adventure actually starts will be um, the one I'm drawing now with the cuffs and the, uh, the high collar. And there'll be a reason for that, that I will eventually... Um, the, well, I don't know if I'll describe it in the comic or not, but it's gonna be a necessary thing. And I actually added the waistband slash belt on him in this one because I thought maybe it needed something a little bit more interesting on the waist besides like a regular belt that I had him in previously. And I do have other character sheets that I might show at the end of this video if you guys are interested in looking at that. But yeah, and his outfit's gonna be... Um, I always have him in like a blue color. It's like his signature color is like blue and uh, red, which is kind of a intentional thing um, because Bram's emotions kind of run hot or cold and mostly, you know, when he's hot or, you know, if you think of color theory in a way, like, you know, warm colors are going to be like orange, yellow, and red and cool colors are going to be like blue, purples, and greens most of the time and uh, I just wanted to show that in my color choices for his outfit and that's been a a character decision I've had on him for a while but once again throughout the story he will change his outfit but I think that the cuffs and the collar are going to be um, an ongoing thing for him and once again there is a reason for that but I won't get into that right now because hashtag spoilers um but yeah I can't remember if I actually color the outfit in this video, it's been so long and my brain is kind of fried. But if I do color it, I don't think I did like the whole shading, highlighting, and all that good stuff. But um, I can always do that some other day. I just want to actually get actually get the design and the uh, the styles down more than anything. Um, and it's a character reference sheet, so it's not it doesn't really need to have full coloring because. Um, I'll just be referencing this in my little box whenever I need to draw him, um, occasionally. Oh, and I guess I did draw like a little cape for him, and I think I actually draw like a, a longer version of a cape with like slits in the side, I can't remember, but I don't know if I'm actually going to keep it, and I had to look up a lot of references for that because I'm not really good at draw drawing fabric folds. That's something I have to get used to. And I actually wanted to draw a blight in one of those capes, the long ones, but um, we'll get to that some other day if I have time. But yeah, the one I'm drawing him now, I don't know if I'll actually keep. I just wanted to draw him in something a little cute and a little bit of a, um, I don't want to say feminine because I don't think clothing is really masculine or feminine, but 
a lot of the capes that you see in the pictures are more feminine, but I like the uh, the design for him to wear that because, you know, I think it's cute. Oh yeah, and boots. Boots are another thing I have a hard time with, and basically any feet or shoes in general. But I think I like his boots the way they are in this drawing, and I think I'll keep them. Usually I have him with like really long boots that go up to the knee, and this time I wanted to have him with shorter boots, more travel style. Um, but yeah, I like the way that they turned out eventually. And um, I was going to talk about a topic and I cannot remember for the life of me what it was anymore. But yeah, um, I will need to create more outfits for him and Blight in the future of the comic um, because they won't be wearing these outfits like through the whole series if it ends up being a series because um, I do want it to be a rather long journey. I don't want it to end after just a couple of episodes. Um, but yeah, they will travel different places, different environments and cultures and uh, temperatures. So it's going to be something that is ongoing. And you know, like those characters in TV shows, like I guess like the person that comes to mind is like Family Guy or um, I don't know why I thought of that because they always wear the same outfits in every single episode basically. Or like any other TV show I don't know. I'm sure you guys can think of something where the character wears the constantly just the same thing over and over again. I want it to change every now and then and um, yeah, just give it a little bit more interest. And I really like designing clothes and styles of uh, apparel, wardrobe, costumes. It's just something that I really enjoy. So once again, it is a very self-indulgent topic. Um, but yeah, that's about all I have to discuss about this video. And once again, you know, this job is kind of sucking up all of my free time and I'm trying to put out more comic pages and stuff and I actually just posted the newest episode yesterday. So if you haven't read it yet, you can go there and read it now. It's called Gilded. But yeah, um, I don't know when the next update will be. I have like a general idea of how I want to go and I have thumbnails in my notebook and stuff so I know what I want to happen but it's just going to be executing it. It's going to take a long time and this one, the episode I'm working on now, is going to be a lot of indoor shots so that's going to be a lot different than what I normally do which is everything outdoors and clouds and sky in the background because it's a little easier to do that in my opinion but I'm actually going to have to work on architecture so yay! <laughs> Bear with me guys! Anyway, I hope y'all have a great time, day, night, wherever you are. And while I still have you guys here, just let me know in the comments which of Bram's hairstyles you liked best in this video, and we'll see which one gets the most votes. Alright, y'all have a good one. Bye!